Hey guys, it's Nikki from Still Mums Nursery, and I had a request um, to show everybody uh, my entire doll collection. So um, I, I have gathered them all together, and I will um, take you through and show you and introduce you to um, my doll collection. So first of all, um, you would have known um, this little guy, Tristan. Um, he was my first um, reborn that I bought off eBay. Um, he's the one that actually got me started in reborning. I actually I went on to eBay eight years ago now and um, it was when I first came over to Melbourne and I was looking for porcelain dolls and I came across him and I remember his listing he was um, sitting in a blue bean bag and he had his this original white outfit on and I just fell in love with him I just thought he had the sweetest face so um, I started to bid on him and and I won and I got him and he's been with me ever since um, I think he's a, um, well, I know he's a Behringer um, sculpt. I'm not sure actually what the name is um, of this particular face. But um, he was done, I'm pretty sure he was done with stencil creams. And um, as you can see, it's all rubbing off. And um, the purple that you can see, that's actually the purple um, internal wash, uh, which isn't recommended um, to do anymore. So, because that's what happens, it actually does bleed through the vinyl, and that's what's ha that actually is what happens. So, um, I don't do that to any of my dolls, um, apart from my ethnics. I like to put a little bit in, um, but the paints that we're using now, um, they are um, either heat set or um, air dry. So, um, they shouldn't do this, but um, I don't do this on my Caucasians, and I probably wouldn't recommend it. But um, it's up to the personal uh, ribbon artist. That's him, and that's um, Tristan. And then when I um, started reborning, um, this is my first little guy I made, and his name is Jonathan. He's the Sir Christ, um Zoe kit, and he was done with the Genesis heat set paints, and uh, he came out a little bit um, pink, but he was my first uh, reborn I made, so um, I was quite happy with him. And I gave him little uh, milk spots, I don't know if you can see. There are two little milk spots just there. So, and everybody loves him, but I think he's really sweet. And then I've got my first one um, that I, um, I've done a vlog on this little one. Um, it's not a reborn, it's a um, magic nursery doll. And I picked her out when I was seven, and she was my first baby um, that I actually got to go to the store and um, pick out on my on my birthday. And I was really really excited when I when I actually got to do that. So. Um, because we used to come over from, we lived in New, Papua New Guinea for um, 13 years of my life. So um, we used to come over to Australia or New Zealand um, sort of once a year and have a big, um, f um, you know, four-week family ho family holiday. And um, yeah, one year I was able to get her. So um, I picked her out, and um, she actually came with a dress that you dissolved, um, which told you if it was a boy or a girl. And mine was a little girl. Um, I haven't got any of the original dresses or anything that she came with, which was a shame, but um, she's, you know, she's still with me, and um, she's still got her hair, which is um, really good. I didn't sort of brush that um, too hard or anything, so I um, don't know what I named her, but um, yeah, that's my magic nursery doll. I think she was probably my very first doll that I, um, that I actually got, so she's a special baby. Um, then I've got my little ethnic um, little girl. Um, she's a reborn. I did her with the air dry paints. Um, I have actually decided to keep her because um, I don't keep many of my dolls and um, I've just fallen in love with her and I don't think I can part with her yet. But she hasn't got any hair on um, anyway, but she looks really cute bald. But um, yeah, um, she's going to stay in my collection for, a, for just a little bit longer. And then I've got the two little, I think these were uh, Bountiful Baby Bee did these, I'm pretty sure. They're all um, soft silicon. Um, I didn't reborn them, they actually came like this and I just put them together um, just to sort of put in um, the doll room. And I had a little outfit that I purchased um, oh, a couple of years ago from eBay and it's a little nice smocked um, or crocheted um, little bit, um, dress. And it had little shoes on it with little rosebuds on it and a little bonnet as well 
and I hadn't had a doll um, to fit the outfit so I was really excited when I got her and I could put her in that little dress so it's a little bit too small but yeah, it's cute anyway I've got another one as well with the eyes open um, I haven't actually found an outfit for this one but um, I have weighted the limbs with the tiny glass beads and there is a little larger glass beads um, little sack in there so um, gives a little bit of weight yeah I've got to find a little outfit for for this one but um yeah and of course you guys would have seen my porcelain dolls um, these little guys so I've got these as well and the two little ones over in the corner so they're in the room as well and I've still got to finish off the toddler she's holding Rebecca but yeah guys that's my doll collection um, yeah I thought I'd um, do the request and, and show off my um, reborn doll well, not reborn doll but doll collection um, but yeah guys I thought you might like to see them and um, I hope you thought it was interesting um, remember to subscribe um, comment and rate the video and I will talk to you guys soon